with the position number six brush, which is wonderful because it does the work for you, we need a tiny amount on the brush, and we start very gently on the cheekbone, and then building up under the eye, and this is great for up over the top as well, under the eye, just the light reflect. As I said to you before, the Italian smile works very well if you put it on the eyelid as a face for eyeshadow. And if you want, you can just wear this on its own if you're happy with just a very light reflecting product. Everybody's skin change throughout summer and winter, so it's up to you how much foundation or correct you want to wear. We want to work there and we just pump it onto the skin. Using the brush as well gets the skin going and brings the best to the surface. Just to prepare the lips. And this is the product that I showed you with the central rose oil, shea butter, and the SPF. So if you just put that on, it's going to pump up the lips and it's perfectly a beautiful as well. And cosmetically pretty. We're going to use this powder brush, Dome 1, and just gently pop that into the skin. This is just going to take away any of the oil, but it's not going to clog the pores or get into any fine lines. on the apples of the cheek and then the blend. This one's called cold coat and this is just going to brighten the skin. So we're going to do a really lovely smoke here. A very quick uh, makeup to show you how quickly and easily you can do it. A very healthy fresh cheek. With the eye open, and we just lift the eye, and then we're going to press in there. Is that okay? And this is going to make the lashes appear thicker from the base before we do the eyeshadow. So it's very easy to use. And again, and look down. And if you just start at the bottom, you don't have to be too precise because it's always going to look very clean. And we're going to use beetle number one. So this brush is a great angle brush and very easy to use. It does the work for you. We use a tiny amount of the eyeshadow. Just look straight. And then if you keep your eye open, this is for a very easy, smoky look. We start on the edge, and the same here, and then we blend afterwards. And then we'll blend all of the colour together. But for a modern look, try not to layer, just put it in sections and then blend. We can take this all the way up here as well. Now we just get to work and blend the colour in. And if you want, you can wet the brush slightly and just concentrate a little bit from the outside. So if you look at me, any closure? And then you'll see the effect of the eyeliner that we did earlier. Look at that. Now you can see how thick the lash looks from the new. Beautiful. This is the colour we're going to use, and this colour is very beautiful anti-inflammatory. We're going to use it in the eye. We're going to use this brush here, the precision number five. 
And this is going to brighten up the eyes. Just you can put in the eyes, and after a few seconds, you won't feel the powder initially, you will, but it's made for application into the eyes. Is that possible? Lovely. And then we can get on with concealing the skin. So there's a very quick eye makeup, but very beautiful and smoky and easy to do with the right colours. And just to finish, we'll use one of the most popular eyebrow pencils. This is blonde, and this is with dark eyebrows, just a contour. So if you don't want a lot of black, so what you do is you sculpt the eye. You start at the bottom, and this is foolproof makeup. You can't make a mistake. And then you have a beautiful eyebrow, and you just brush through. And in two seconds, you've got a really sculpted eyebrow. And it's quite a good idea to do it after the eye makeup so we clean everything up. And this is great over the top of the brush that we use. You can take it all the way there. Give a really beautiful glow. And this will just lift the cheek. So this is always a very beautiful, fresh cheek. This lifts it maybe for the evening, or if you just want a lovely glow. And just to finish the makeup, we're going to do a really soft mouth. You can do this before or after. And it's not going to be a strong lip line. We want something very fresh, unlike my really strong lips. But I think what we'll use is one of the last doors. And we're going to use number eight. And this is the product of the SPF as well. But it's not sticky, just gonna hydrate with it. And there you have a very quick by pairing makeup.